It is Sunday, June 2nd. A couple minutes after 6, I've been on the trail for almost an hour. Most of that was uphill. And so I just checked, I've only come two miles. That'll speed up. The first uh, 15 miles today is pretty much uphill, in general uphill. And the last 10 is downhill. I need to get to the 5 o'clock shuttle at mile 787. So I have 23 more miles to go. And I've got basically 10 hours, 11 hours to do it. So that's what the big goal is today. I don't know if I'll get a nap in or not. <laughs> got on the trail at 510 and uh, with the red headlamp, got out of camp. Didn't wake up to anybody, I don't think. Got out pretty good. Anyway, all right, back to uphill again. Good morning, White Blaze. Land of the Mossy Rocks. Today we got 6,100 feet down, 3,600 feet up, which I know we've done at least one of those thousand up already. And now we're out of the mossy rocks. The forest is completely carpeted. All the way around. You can see up that elevation up there is when it gives up. But at a certain elevation, it's all covered. 360 view, that's where I was. And I'm not there now. I'm going the other way. That's where I came from. Haven't been on a bald in a while. This one's a bald for a different reason. <laughs> Got a big old weather station up there, radar station. So. But we should get some views. Try to get some views. It's pretty hazy. But I like the bald nonetheless. Yeah, I don't know that you can see the contrast way out there. I don't think so. Yeah. Let's see if you can see it there. Nope. Hard to see. We'll just have to walk. See if we get some more views here. I'm using my phone for these videos. It's a Galaxy S9. Takes pretty good shots. We are on Apple Orchard Mountain, 4,225 feet northbound. Right. Should go say hello to these folks over here? Sure, why not? So one of the uh, entertaining things on the trail, as you'll see, is different rocks have a name um, if they're uh, significant. And uh, here we, I got one right here. It's called the guillotine <laughs> for obvious reason. <laughs> so you walk through here and you say, is that rock going to fall? <laughs> Right, too, that's where the trail goes through, so <laughs> let's take a look at that. You know, I got luck like that, so let's just see. <laughs> Here's the trail, <laughs> and we're going to walk through there. <laughs> you can see there's just a couple rocks to wedge together, <laughs> keep it from falling. <laughs> that's why it's called the guillotine.
<laughs> Hold on there. Hold on there. Hold on there. <laughs> <laughs> the guillotine. <laughs> All right, so it's a couple minutes after noon. We got 14 miles in, which means I started at like a couple minutes after five. That means I'm averaging two miles an hour. And I have 11 miles to go to get to the pickup point at five o'clock. So a little less than five hours to go 11 miles, which would average 2.2. So I've got to pick up the speed a little bit which really just means that I, that when I stopped for like an hour and 15 minutes for breakfast and socializing with some people I caught up with, that uh, I just don't get to do that. So I'm confident I'll still get there 4.30. There's a lot of downhill. I've done all the uphill already, so that slowed me down some too. So that's what it is. And uh, just down Gatorade, I think I've done three liters so far this morning, four liters. Starting to warm up a little bit, you can tell by my face. And, uh, but uh, it's not crazy temps. So, but, uh, all right, time for me to find this spring that's up ahead here. Get some water. Not an abundant spring here, but there's some water here. You have to scoop to get it out. It's pretty tricky to get the water out of here but we'll work our best. All right, we got about four miles to go. We got a little over two hours to do it. It's all looking good. We got first look down at the James River down there. That's the biggest river that we've crossed all the whole trail so far. And way off in the distance, I believe, is the town of Glasgow, which is where I'm staying tonight. So, but uh, we got one more big thing to look forward to today, and that is the longest suspension footbridge on the Appalachian Trail. I know we did one before, but this one's like really long. Someone said a thousand feet. That's like 0.2 miles. Anyway. We'll see it when we see it, and uh, we will show it. All right. Well, this is about the end of the day. We got just across over this trestle behind me, and I can't quite see it, but it's there. I thought this was pretty cool. Check this out. A beaver has been very busy along the James River here. Here's what he's been doing. He's been eating a log over here, and he chewed off that one there, but it didn't fall been trying to eat it again. <laughs> There's one determined beaver there, I tell you what. <laughs> All right, let's go across that trestle and uh, get on the other side of the James River. Sure enough. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go do this bridge. There's the blaze. And there's the bridge. Woohoo, we made it. All right, we get rewarded with hopefully cool breeze and flat, pretty girls. <laughs> Hi. Hi. All right, let's do it. 
Well, this sign says it's 775 miles back to Georgia Hype Springer Mountain, but it's actually 787. And to Maine, it's uh, about five more than that. 1405. If my math is good, my math is good, so. All right, well, we're at the parking lot now here, and we're just gonna wait for a ride, and we will be in Glasno and some Italian dinner. All right, we're gonna make this real quick here. Um, we are uh, at the Standable Hostel. Got in here late. Um, getting my clothes washed, uh, getting gear, got my two boxes, got my mattress back, that's nice. And uh, so we went 25 miles today. We are at 787.6, I believe. And uh, I don't see another option but leaving tomorrow morning uh, late. Maybe just do a lighter day. Having some issues with my blister on my foot. Not sure if it's a things infected in there or a sliver in there but it's uh, starting to bother me more and more try to pick at it with a needle and thread to drain it didn't get any pus out didn't get any uh, not a blister type of thing so that's not it um, might end up having to soak it for uh, some epsom salt now to see what it is but um that's what it is so good day uh, day number 63 so hoorah thanks for watching these and i'll catch y'all next time